Hi, so um, this is my first video. I'm really excited and yes, like most people, I'm a little nervous, but it's Halloween night. So if I have to pause the video, you know it's because we've had youngsters at the door. Although I don't really expect any, it's late enough now that I think they're all settled down. I can hear them outside screaming though, so you never know. Anyway, my name is Cheryl and welcome to my channel. Um, I just was gonna play for a little while tonight and I thought there's somehow some wonderful good luck charm with starting this on Halloween, so that's what I'm doing. And since I was gonna craft for a few minutes, I do have a few other videos planned, but since I'm gonna craft for a few minutes, I thought I would just uh, bring you along. So the other day, I, um, I, I went, well, last Saturday, I went estate sailing, and like I do on as many weekends as I possibly can, and I picked up a few things. And one of the things that I found was I picked up a few of these, oh, let me scooch my chair forward a little bit, a few of these um, Boys Life magazines. And I thought tonight I would just kind of come through here and see what we have. I found some, I found some great pictures. Look at that, isn't that cute? I'm gonna use that, I don't know how, but I'm going to. But is this a little creepy? <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that's a little creepy? I hope not, because yeah, that's a little creepy. But, and I know this whole thing isn't getting in frame, but that's because these, uh, these magazines are huge. However, what I found was, I wanna start with this right here, <clears throat> because I thought it would be fun if I cut this out and I'm really just probably going to just cut it out and back it so I can make it a little bendable card. Let's see. Tuck spot for one of my one of my journals. By the way, this magazine is from 1965. It is almost as old as I am. That's saying something. Okay. So now I'm just going to trim this down. I'm gonna try to leave those little marks because I think they're cute. I sh probably should be doing this on my cutter, but it is about two feet to my left. <clears throat> so I can't do that in frame. I have one of the smaller ones, but I really don't like using them. So most of the time I will probably cut everything ahead of time because I really prefer to use my big cutter. So I think what I'm going to do with this is just back it. And of course, I didn't bring anything to back it with, with me. However, I can probably Grab a hold of something right here. So I'm going to show you what's in that whole box here pretty soon. I have an entire box full of things that's it's kind of crazy. Actually, I'm not going to use that. Yeah, I have a I have a box full of things over here that I'm going to do another video on, just not tonight. We have this great little place here in Austin. By the way, I'm in Austin, Texas. We have a great little place here in Austin, Texas that lets us get all kinds of wonderful goodies. It's kind of like a 
Well, it's called Austin Creative Reuse, and I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you guys to this soon. <clears throat> Isn't that cute too? But that's for another day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna. And I know I should have one of the big ones like Gail does, but I don't. I don't actually like using glue sticks very much. So these little ones are fine for me. But as you all probably know, wet glue um, is not your friend on certain applications like this. going to smooth this down. Oh, I see I missed a few places. This is why I don't like glue sticks because I'm not very good at them. Okay. So now let's just try to cut this again. Try to cut it straight. And I'm going to fold it where it says fold here. And of course, I don't have my uh, score, so we're just going to get close. There we go. You can see that this is old enough that it's starting to break down, but that's why I wanted to back it, because I wanted it to have a little bit of integrity, but I think just having that like that is cute. And I probably will do something else to it, but I just want to, this was what I thought is I just wanted to have this like that tucked into my journal. Let me get this beast over here. This is one that I just started. Um, it's got five signatures in it. And it's just going to have my ideas. You can see it is not finished by any stretch. In fact, it's just barely started. <clears throat> but I've got a, I've got a few little things, a few little ideas going here and there. You know. But what I wanted to do with this was I just just want to tuck it in. I might add something else later, but I think this is cute. So I'm gonna leave that there for now. It's very likely we will have this come back up in a video whenever I think about what I want to do. But I don't have to have all the answers today, so I'm gonna put that away for now. And then, for my Halloween video. I'm not gonna do anything Halloween, but I am going to do an ATC along with just taking this, oh, oh, I know what else I wanna do. There was something else in here that I wanted to pull out. Oh, that's right, that's right. So, I wanna work on this ATC right here. And all I've done here is I've used some scraps, put it on old, um, it's either tissue box broken down or cereal box broken down. And then I covered it with some little scraps of book pages and maps and music, music paper. But this magazine here gave me an idea that I could cut out one of these little albums and add to it, along with a couple of other little scripts and scraps I've got. Um, the one that I thought that I thought was perfect for this is now escaping me. Oh, because we have the maps, I thought something like, the Ventures Walk, Don't Run, Raunchy Night Train Caravan, and more, and more. 
So let me get this over here. I'm going to use a lot of these, I think. Oh, look at this over here. Look at that. Isn't that clever? Ricky Nelson, The Four Seasons, and look, special the Beatles, A Hard, Day Night, Dark, Hard Day's Night. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Any six regular or stereo records for free, all you have to do is sign up. Wouldn't that be nice? I tell you, I would do this in a heartbeat today if they would accept my, my little thing I have right here. I could uh, just send in and try to get this uh, album right here that's worth probably God knows how much. And The Angels, My Boyfriend's Back, Joan Baez, West Side Story. Oh my gosh, these are great. Doris Day, <laughs> Bobby V. Yeah, Bob Dylan, Barbara Streisand. Great stuff here, Bobby Vinton. But today... We are just going to try to find, not that that just fell. We're going to try to find my exacto because I want this one right here. Let's hope. Let's hope I can get that out. Okay, so I've got three of these Boys Life magazines, which is fun. I think I've just got this little sheet music stuff that I put over another background. I don't have one of those um, rulers that will tear with the great edges. I think I'm going to have to get one of those though because they are super sweet devices to have so I think that's on my to-do list I am not like you other brave people who are out there who are like doing no spending money no purchases until 2020 ridiculousness I am not that good and I have weaknesses that I seem to be pretty comfortable with so and one of them is uh I love to purchase things for my craft room. All right, let's see here. I need something else. I have all kinds of odds and ends. I normally have a pretty clean area. You don't want to see it right now because clean is not even close. But normally, I, I actually have two or three videos already planned out. And one of them is sitting on a box right there. And one of them is sitting in that box right there. I don't like that. Um, oh, that's getting better.
Oh yeah, that's better. Yep. The only thing is, I think I still, I'm not seeing enough of my little map over here. I kind of like seeing the map. Oh my gosh, I'm getting real fiddly with this, and I'm not usually like that. Nope, I think we're just going to try to see the map through it. Yep. Okay. Label it over here. So I was talking to someone, several people, on, I think it was Junk Journal Junkies <laughs> Junk Journal Junkies, um, chat group. And we were discussing how much we love, hate Fabri-Tac. And I was talking about how this one, I can I don't know exactly where it is, but it's broken off like right there. And it did that right after I got it. So a smart person would have, of course, returned it, but I did not. And so now I'm pretty well stuck with it. But that's okay, I've used most of it by now, so pretty soon I will be buying another one. And hopefully it won't have that same problem. I saw that someone have had their Fabri-Tac in a little, a little container. Let me see if I have one handy, which I don't, I thought I did. But I wanna put mine in one of those little containers because I think that would be very handy instead of having the big bottle. But it's so thick because it's been basically semi-open since I bought it. Ooh. Yeah. No, I thought I needed more glue, but apparently I don't. Oh, I think that's cute. All right. I don't know who this ATC is going to go to. I just thought it'd be fun to make one. Again, mostly because I think there's got to be some kind of good luck for someone who loves Halloween as much as I do to start their channel or do their first video on Halloween. That has to be good luck. I don't know how long it takes to upload these. I've never done this. But, again, has to be a good luck. Has to be. And we have not had one trick-or-treater. So there we go. Of course, it is not finished. Um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah has been doing a um, three and 30 and I'm thinking about doing it. I think I'm challenged and I think I'm gonna join her even though I'm way behind on that. I just think it would be fun. So I am considering doing that as well. So yeah, what do you think? I think it's cute. And I, uh, 
think that's it. So I know that y'all are probably very disappointed in this little doodad that I made, but I remember as a kid seeing these little things in inside magazines when, you know, I didn't read Boy's Life, but um, I don't even remember what kind of magazines I did read, but I read them. I loved magazines. I still do. And I just thought that was this was cute. So I'm going to do something with it. I may, I don't know, put something up here. What do you think? Post your ideas below. I would like to do something with it. I'm going to trim it up. I, I Again, I just want to think about this. I don't know what I want to do with it, so I want to think about it. But I will trim it up. I just, and I'm probably going to distress the inside or do something to the inside, but I don't want to do anything until I kind of figure out, you know, if I want to embellish it or if I, I mean, I really like it like it is, but I also see that it would be nice to embellish it. And y'all will probably also, some of you are going to love this, but I don't embellish as much as a lot of people do. I love to embellish. I just tend to not put as many layers I don't know if I'm scared I'm going to go too far. Is there such a thing as too far? But I also am somebody who really likes simplicity. I appreciate simplicity. And if you saw some of my other work, you would understand that in most things, I, I tend to go that direction. Um, so I'm just going to tell you just quickly about who I am. I uh, am a... I have a marketing firm, so I do web design, graphic design, um, you know, that kind of stuff. I put words and pictures together and try to sell you stuff. Or more importantly, I try to deliver a message. Um, so that's what I do for a living. I not only own my own marketing firm, but I, uh, I work for... Um, uh, local educational institution um, doing some marketing as well. So I have sort of a part-time job in addition to what I do for uh, my main living. And um, in all my work, I tend to do that. So aside from that, that I actually work to make a living, I am an artist. I have liked to do all kinds of things and my main focus is probably um, painting although I do a fair amount of sculpture work photography particularly black and white um, which also goes back to that whole I'm I have a love affair with bold um, classic looks refined, some, not simple, but I don't know, less, less, although <laughs> that's what I do. That doesn't mean that's necessarily what I love to see in other people. So like when, when Tina from Shabby Dabby do that, this is the second time I've mentioned her, um, or Gail or, you know, Girl on a Ridge or any of the others who just, I love the work. All of those layers are just fabulous, and I'm so in awe. And uh, maybe one of these days my, I will start leaning more that direction. But these are more my kinds of things where there's a few layers, but it doesn't have as many. But this is kind of cool. I also have one more video that I'm going to show you all very soon. I just spoke with the um, person who created this, but I got this in Happy Mail the other day. And I can't wait to show all of you this. So that's in an upcoming video as well. At any rate, um, I hope you all have a happy Halloween and welcome to my channel. And if you want to leave comments, I would greatly appreciate it. Of course, please subscribe. Um, and in the next video, hopefully or one after one very soon, I'm going to actually probably do a, a little short intro video on who I am and why I'm doing this. So... I will see you then and I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great evening. Stay safe.